You can sit on a block or a blanket. You can sit on your knees. You can sit cross-legged, just finding a comfortable seat. <clears throat> oh, hello, Addie. And sit up really tall. Drop your shoulders down your back. Close your eyes. Feel some length in your spine. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Rooting down through the bones of your seat. Soften the muscles of your face. Really strong. And begin to notice your breath. You don't have to change it or force it. Just notice. Feel the inhale draw in through the nose, filling up the belly and the chest. And let the exhale just gently flow out of the nose. Notice what you feel, what you hear, what you can sense around you. Dropping into the present moment. Right here, right now. As we move into a balancing practice today, if you can keep an open mind and practice a little compassion for yourself, a little patience, as we will all really fall out of the pose at some point, myself included. And that's all part of it. If we can all balance perfectly, we would need to do this practice. We're soaking up every moment, all of the grace, all of the messiness, all of the beautiful imperfections that make it unique. Take a full breath in through your nose, fill up your belly, your ribs, all the way up to the top of your chest. Then open your mouth and drop it out. And a deep inhale through the nose, fill everything up. Open your mouth, sigh out. One more, just like that big breath in. Big breath out. And inhale both arms up toward the sky. Take a big stretch down both sides of the torso. Drop your right hand down. Take your left arm up and over your head. Side body stretch. Pressing down through the left hip, reaching through the left fingertips. Inhale, bring the body up through center. And then exhale, drop it over to the other side. Left hand down, right arm up and over. Again, inhale up through center, reach tall. Exhale, drop your right hand, left arm over. Last time, breathe in through center. Exhale to the left. Big stretch on the right side. Inhale up through center. Reach up top. This time, we'll take it into a twist. Left hand to right side. Right hand behind you. Maybe fingertips touch the floor. Sit up really tall. And then exhale, twist. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, other way. Right hand, left side. Left fingertips behind you. Sit up tall. Next, exhale, press and twist. Inhale, reach up top. And exhale, fold over your legs wherever you are, just kind of surrendering, rounding the upper back, drop the head and neck. Let everything be heavy. And then gently roll over your knees. <clears throat> Come to a tabletop position, hands and knees. And start to roll through a couple rounds of cat and cow on your own, using the breath to open the body and kind of tap into any sticky areas, stretching things out, warming things up. You can tuck or untuck your toes. It doesn't matter. Whatever makes you feel more stable. Rounding and arching the spine, maybe jump roping the spine in one direction and then, and then the other. Warming up the shoulders, the hips, and the back.
And take about three more rounds of breath wherever you are. And just checking in with the body. And then you'll find a neutral spine, so just a flat tabletop. <clears throat> Spread your fingers really wide, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Hug your low belly in so that you're not sway back. And pr gently press through your palms just enough to engage the shoulders. Soften the space at the back of the neck. Reach your tailbone back behind you and the crown of your head forward. So we'll start our balancing on the floor. You're gonna reach your left toes back behind you. Extend your legs straight out from the hip. Hover the foot just at hip height. Keep this leg engaged as you reach the right hand out in front of you. Reaching through the right fingertips and the left heel, toes are flexed. Long neck, long spine, hug the low belly in. Deep breath in, deep breath out. From here, you're gonna open up your right arm to the right and bring your left leg out to the left. <laughs> Don't hold your breath as much as you want to. Come back through center, extend in both directions. And then as you exhale, bring elbow to knee, crunch it in. So inhale again, extend. You're gonna exhale, bring the left leg out to the left, right arm out to the right. Inhale, come back through center, reach in opposite directions. Exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Two more times, inhale, reach it out. Exhale, come out to the side. Inhale, back through center. And exhale, crunch. Last time, reach. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Bring everything down. Come back to neutral. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Rinse that out with a cow and a cat pose. And then we'll switch sides. So again, coming back to that neutral spine, engaging the low belly to support the back. Right leg reaches back behind you. Flex the toes straight down towards the floor. Keep that leg really engaged and strong. And then the left arm will reach out in front of you, stretching through the fingertips. So there's this long line of energy down the back side of the body from the left fingertips to the right heel. Breathe here. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, take your left arm out to the left, right, right leg out to the right. Whoa, weevil wobble. Don't hold your breath. Come back through center, extend. And then as you exhale, bring elbow to knee. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, take it out to the sides. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, elbow to knee. Two more, inhale. Extend, exhale out to the sides. Inhale, reach, exhale, crunch and round. Last time, extend, out to the sides, breathe out. Inhale through center and exhale, crunch and round. Release everything down, we'll stretch it out, tuck your toes under, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet, bend your knees one at a time, sway your hips from side to side, shake out your head and neck. And if you're like me, that sequence might have built a little bit of heat in the body. I'm already sweating, but it's also like humid as hell in my house, so that could be part of it. I'm just a sweaty person. Bend your knees, reach your tailbone up toward the ceiling, and start to melt your heels down toward the floor, stretching through the calves, the Achilles, all the way down through the soles of the feet. Spread your toes, spread your fingers, and lengthen the back of your neck. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. You're gonna take a step forward. So you're kind of a short down dog. And you can bend your knees as much as you need to, especially if your hamstrings are really tight. We do a lot of walking these days. You're gonna take your left hand and grab the outside of your right leg. So you might grab the outer shin, you might be able to grab the outer ankle or the outer foot, but it's essentially a twist and you're gonna pull yourself to look underneath your right arm. Woo! And then come through center, back to your short down dog. Right hand is gonna grab the outside edge of your left leg and you're gonna pull yourself underneath your left arm. And inhale back through center. 
Step it back out to your normal stance, normal down dog. And then we'll test our balance a little bit here. You're gonna come up onto your fingertips on your right hand. Like we call these cupcake hands in yoga. Like there's a cupcake underneath your hand and you don't wanna smash it. <laughs> and then you're gonna take your left heel or lift your left heel off of the mat. So you're on your left toes and your right fingertips. Stay solid through your left hand and your right foot. And you're gonna take your right hand off of the mat. Ooh, find a balance here. And then if you feel really brave, you might be able to take your left leg up toward the sky. And if you fall down, it's okay. You can kind of teeter-totter between your right fingertips and your left toe tips. And try not to hold your breath. That's always the hardest part. <laughs> and then come down before you get exhausted. We'll take a quick child's pose just to come out of the shoulders. Forehead to the floor. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more inhale and exhale. Then we'll come back up to your down dog, other side. So your normal down dog stance, come up onto your fingertips on your left hand, find that cupcake hand, <laughs> and then lift your right heel off of the mat. So you're bringing a little bit more weight into your left foot. And then you can take your left hand off the mat first, find a balance here. And then if you feel really brave, start to reach your right heel up toward the ceiling. I'm already holding my breath. <laughs> and again, you can teeter totter. Those left fingertips might hit the ground a few times and that's perfect. We're just balancing. <sighs> and then come back down, right foot to the floor, left hand to the floor, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to your hands, find a ragdoll, forward fold at the top of your space. Grab opposite elbows and sway from side to side. Let it go. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Bend your knees as much as you need to to release the low back. Be sweet to your hamstrings. And then release your arms, heel toe your feet so that they're underneath your hips and slowly roll all the way up to stand. Once you reach the top, inhale the arms up overhead and exhale, bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes. Spread your toes really wide, rooting down through all four corners of your feet. Soften your shoulders down your back. Relax your jaw, your eyebrows. Soften your knees just slightly, rolling the tailbone down towards your heels, engaging the lower belly. Deep breaths across the chest. And with your eyes closed, see if you notice a very slight natural sway in the body, it's very subtle as the body tries to find center line. Equilibrium. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And open your eyes, look up, reach up. Grab a hold of your left wrist with your right hand, side bend over to the right, finding this crescent moon shape in the body, pressing down through your left foot. You might be able to look up underneath your left arm, take a big breath into the left side of the rib cage, and a big breath out. Inhale through center, switch your grip, pull the right wrist over to the left. Big bend on the right side body, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. And inhale, come up through center. And exhale, bring your hands to your low back. Take your feet a little bit wider, so a little bit wider than hips width. Then soften your knees just a little bit. Press your hips forward, squeeze your elbows together, open your heart towards the sky, drop your head back. A little back bend. And then inhale, up back through center. Reach the arms up toward the sky. And then exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach out and up. Last time, dive over your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Inhale at the top of your plank. Exhale, lower through chaturanga, bend the elbows halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. Downward facing dog, exhale. Big breath in. Big breath out. Right leg reaches high toward the sky. Flex your toes. Exhale for cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it back three point. Exhale, cheetah, round the upper back. Last time, reach and extend. Exhale for cheetah, step it through. Rise up high, lunge. So that, <clears throat> that back heel is going to stay lifted. You'll sweep the arms up overhead. So the wider your feet are apart from left to right, the more stability you're going to have in the legs. If you're standing on a tight rope, it's a lot harder to balance. So give yourself a nice wide foundation. Deep bend to the right knee. Soft bend to the left knee. Breathe here. As you exhale, you're going to open twist to the right. So right hand reaches back behind you. Left hand reaches out in front. Pulling the right hip crease back. Dropping into the left hip crease. Come back through center, arms up, high lunge. Open up warrior two. The wide stance of the feet, opening through the inner thighs, grounding down through the back foot just as much as the front foot. So from here, you're gonna lift your right heel off of the mat. Uh -huh. And then deep, deep bend of that right knee. Woo! I was like, I'm in a bar class, this sucks. Inhale here, exhale here. Inhale, peaceful with that lifted heel. And then as you exhale, drop the heel down, forearm to the top of your right thigh, left arm up and over your head. Extended side angle. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, up and back, peaceful warrior. Then a cartwheel, the left hand to the floor. We'll find a side plank here. So you, you always have the option to keep one foot down for support. But to really challenge your balance, you might be able to stack both legs and then reach the right arm up toward the ceiling. Again, you can kickstand one foot behind you, one foot in front. Slide one foot in front of the other. Lots of different modifications. Deep breath, lifting that bottom hip high toward the ceiling. One more, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the floor, plank pose. Inhale at the top of your plank. Exhale, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up, down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Left leg high to the sky. Exhale for cheetah, knee to nose. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale for cheetah, hug it in. Last time, three point. Knee to nose. Step it through, rise up high lunge. Again, set your feet first and then build a pose on top of your foundation. Whoa. Isometrically squeezing the inner thighs toward each other, rooting down through that left foot, soft bend of the right knee, opening the heart towards the sky. Deep breath in. As you exhale, open twist to the left. So looking back at your left thumb, reaching through the right fingertips, stretching across the chest. Inhale, back up through center. And then exhale, open warrior two. Opening through the inner thighs, press down through the outer edge of your back foot. So you get a little bit more weight in the back leg and then pop up onto your left toes. So left heel lifts off of the floor, and then bend a little deeper into that left knee. Belief. Inhale, peace forward. And then exhale, drop your left heel down, left forearm to the top of your thigh, right arm up toward the ceiling, side angle. Inhale, slide some length in your spine. 
And exhales, open the chest toward the sky. Next, inhale, up and back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel the right hand down to the floor. Find that side plank variation. It might look different on this side, and that's okay. Take whatever modifications you need. But looking up towards the ceiling, reaching that bottom hip up high. Flex your feet. Keep your legs engaged. Next, exhale, left hand comes down to the floor, plank pose. Inhale from plank. Exhale, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward at the bottom of your exhale. Hop or step to the top of your space. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. So here's where we're going to start to get into some balancing. <clears throat> find, a, find equal weight in both feet, so a nice easy stance. Hips or feet are right underneath the hips. Then you're going to start to shift your weight into your right leg. Soften the knee. And if you notice already that you're starting to bow out into that right hip or sort of dump out into the right hip, hug everything back in. Then you're going to lift your left knee up to the height of your hips. Flex your toes. Breathe here. And then as you exhale, you're going to figure four your left ankle over your right thigh and then drop down into your seat. Have a one-legged chair. We call this gentleman's chair or a floating pigeon. Sitting up tall in the neck and shoulders, opening across the heart. Breathe here. As you inhale, you're going to come back up through center. Bring your knee back up to parallel. <clears throat> and then shoot your left leg back behind you, finding warrior three. So still that soft bend to the right leg. Flexing the left toes, reach through the crown of the head and the heart. From here, we're going to open up into half moon. If you have a block, great. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. You're going to open the hips in the shoulders. You can drop the right hand down towards the floor or a block. Left hand will reach up for the ceiling. Maybe the gaze follows. Flexing those left toes like crazy. Reaching through the heel and the outer edge of the foot. If you fall out, don't worry about it. Get back in. If you fall out 10 times in a row, that's part of it. Take one more breath. As you exhale, you'll bend into your right knee, float the left foot back, you're gonna land in a warrior two. I have to widen my stance a little bit, reset the legs. Inhale for peaceful warrior. Straighten through your right leg, give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Rebend, side angle, right arm down, left arm up and overhead. Inhale back into peaceful warrior. Cart with the left hand to the mat, side plank. Take whatever modifications you need. We will only be here for one breath. Exhale through chaturanga, the right hand down, lower the chest, open for up dog. And then downward facing dog, exhale. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, exhale. When your lungs are empty, jump or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, bring the palms down to heart center. Second side, feet are about hips width. Start to shift your weight into your left foot without dumping into your left hip. And then you'll bring your right thigh parallel to the floor, flexing your toes. And again, sipping everything in from this left side. So engaging this outer hip to keep everything stabilized. Soft bend to your left knee. And then from here, you'll figure for your left ankle over, or your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit back and down into your seat without collapsing across the chest. So the heart's open, shoulder blades together on the back. Not really tall. 
Deep, deep breaths. Keep flexing those right toes to support the ankle and the knee. And the next inhale, go ahead, come back up through center. Bring the thigh parallel and then shoot the foot back behind you, warrior three. Flexing the right toes straight down toward the floor, reach through the heart and the crown of the head. Chest open, shoulder blades together. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and then we're slowly going to open from here into half moon. So think about opening the hips first. So you'll flex those right toes toward the wall. Left hand will drop down toward the floor. Right hand will reach up for the ceiling. Keeping those legs engaged. Strong, strong right leg. Deep breaths. If you fall out, it's all right. Get back in. Or don't. I don't care. <laughs> Just keep breathing wherever you are. Look down at your left hand. Start to bend into your left knee. Big step back with that right foot to land in. Whoa, warrior two. However messy or graceful that was, just go with it. Exactly how it was supposed to be. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale into side angle, right arm up and over your head. Inhale, back into peaceful. Cartwheel that right hand down to the floor, side plank, whatever variation you choose. One breath in. And then exhale takes you down through chaturanga or skip it. And we'll meet you down facing dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward. Land in chair at the top of your mat. So as soon as you get to the top of your mat, just drop your hips, lift your arms, lift your heart, look up. Sit deeper, breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale and fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Hands at heart center on the breath out. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift and lengthen. Vinyasa, back to down dog. So just moving through that chaturanga one more time. Just the vinyasa to rinse everything out before we do one more balancing sequence. Take another inhale and an exhale. Right leg reaches for the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Rise up warrior one. So the back heel is going to ground down and then inhale the arms up. Pulling the right hip back, left hip forward. Lots of weight in that back leg. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back. And then reach your knuckles back towards your left heel. Opening across the chest, breathe in. As you exhale, bow to the inside of your right leg. Dropping the crown of your head to the floor. Taking your fists out and over your head. So deep into that right leg. Grounding down through the outer edge of the left foot. If you notice the hips are trying to like sway out to the right, can you hug them back in through center? One more big inhale. Big exhale. Press through your right foot. Come all the way back up. Keep the bind in your arms. So warrior one legs, bind in the arms. Start to shift your weight forward. And then you're going to, ooh, I've sweat my eyes. <laughs> Come up onto your left toes. And they're going to sweep the left thigh up and over your right for eagle legs. Whoa. Might want to kickstand your left toes for a little more support. Squeezing the thighs together, maybe double wrapping up the ankles. Sit low in the hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. As you inhale, bring the left knee up toward the chest. Ah, reach your hands up over your head. Sway the arms back for airplane pose. Flex the left toes. Reach that heel straight back behind you. Take a big step back. Land in high lunge. Arms lift toward the sky. Open up warrior two. Exhale. 
Inhale for Peaceful Warrior. Straighten through your right leg. Triangle pose. Reach toward the front of your space as far as you can. Drop the right hand down. Reach the left hand up toward the ceiling. Now, if you want to challenge your core or your balance a little bit here, and maybe you're exhausted and sweaty like me, so you don't have to do this, but if you want something a little bit extra, you can reach your bottom hand, that's the right one, toward the front of your space. Ooh, a lot of core. And then maybe take your left arm up and over your head too. I'm not going to do that because I'm tired. <laughs> but there it is. It's there for you if you want it. Take a big inhale. Big exhale. On your next breath out, take both hands to the floor. Frame your right foot. Step your back foot forward, just like a footprint or two. And then bow over your right shin. Pyramid pose. Deep hamstring stretch. Relax the back of your neck. Let the crown of the head just sort of drop down toward the floor. Halfway lift your chest, look forward. Exhale, fold. So as you come up to stand, you're going to grab your strap wherever it is. We're on the right foot, so we're going to do the right foot this time, but go ahead and open up your strap to its longest length. We're going to come into dancer pose. So your strap is going to loop around the top of your left foot. So you can bring the left knee, squeeze it against your right knee, and then take your strap around the top of your left foot. And then, I don't know if my strap's long enough, but you might be able to swing it over your shoulder like Santa Claus with a sack of toys or something. I don't know why that was the first metaphor that came to mind. But anyway, <laughs> little bend to the right knee. <clears throat> and you're going to kick into your strap, take it up over your head, ooh, and find a balance and a little bit of a back bend here. So the more you kick, the deeper the shoulder stretch in the back of is going to be. If this is way too much, start here. Right? This is enough right here. But breathing wherever you are, no matter how many times you fall out. Take one more big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly release your foot. Take it down to the floor and shake everything out. And go ahead and drop your strap. We're going to use it on the other side whenever we get there. <laughs> A few more breaths. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hold over your legs. Halfway lift, hands to shin. Float back through Chaturanga or just meet us in downward facing dog. Last standing series. And then we'll stretch it all out. Breathe in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Left leg to the sky, three point. Exhale into cheetah, step your left foot through your hands, ground down through that back foot, and then rise up, warrior one. Pulling the left hip forward, or excuse me, the left hip back, the right hip forward. Opening across the heart, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers the awkward way, and then reach your knuckles back towards your right heel. Deep breath in, open the heart. Exhale, dive to the inside of your left thigh. Drop your head down toward the floor. Take your fists over your head. Humble warrior. It is indeed the most humbling of poses. Slow, steady breath. Hugging those hips in toward the center line. Inhale, come back up to warrior one. Keep the bind in your arms. Start to shift your weight into your left foot. Reach the chest forward and then sweep the right thigh up and over the left for eagle legs. Again, option to kickstand the toes for a little bit more support. Hug the low belly in. Sink low in the hips. Breathe out. 
One more inhale. Squeeze and lower exhale. Inhale, bring the right knee back up to your chest. Shoot it back behind you for airplane. Open the heart. Woo. Big step back with the right toes. Open a high lunge. Ah, weeble wobble. And then warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten your left leg. Reach toward the front of your space. Find that triangle pose. Left arm down, right arm high. Same option here if you want it to reach your left hand forward toward the front of your mat and then your right arm up and over your head as if you're holding a beach ball. A little bit more core work. I'll pass. Strong, steady breath wherever you are. And then bring the right hand down on your next breath out. Hop your right foot forward, a footprint or two, and then bow over your left shin. Pyramid. Equal weight in both feet. Soften the back of your neck. Halfway lift your chest, look forward. Exhale, bow over your leg one more time. Find your strap. And then as you come up to stand, you'll keep all your weight into your left foot this time. And then hug your right knee against your left. And then you'll wrap your strap around the top of your right foot. So this might be plenty. Stay right here, flex the toes, balance on that left leg. If you want to add the back bend and the shoulder stretch, you'll take your arms over your head, Ooh, pulling on the strap and then kicking into the strap at the same time to create that resistance. Soft bend to the left knee just so we are engaging the muscles around the knee joint. Deep breaths across the chest. And again, you can still be here. This is just as powerful. Hug that low belly in. Strong, steady breath. One more deep inhale, and then exhale, slowly release. Shake it out, throw your strap away, you don't need it anymore. Inhale, arm out and up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Halfway lift, inhale. Last vinyasa, lowering through chaturanga on the exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Knees wide, big toes together, hips to your heels, child's pose. Forehead to the floor. You did it. You survived. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Slide forward onto your belly and find a sphinx pose. So your elbows will come underneath your shoulders, forearms parallel, reaching through the crown of your head, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back, spread your fingers really wide, soften through the low back and the belly. It might feel good to sway the hips from side to side. And I take my feet wider than my hips to create a little bit more space in the low back. And gently pulling the heart through the biceps, spreading the collarbones wide. Close your eyes here. We spend a lot of time up in the air on one foot, not very grounded. But notice what it feels like to be so close to the ground. Notice the contrast. Take a big inhale, 
As you exhale, stack your palms, let your elbows come out wide, and then rest your forehead on the back of your hands. Shimmy your hips from side to side. It might feel good to bend the knees and then sway the shins from left to right. Bring your feet back down to the floor if you're swaying. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Press back through child's pose just for transition. And then go ahead and come down onto your seat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Last chance to use your strap if you want to. You don't have to. We're just coming into a forward fold. If you want something a little bit more restorative, you can loop your strap around the soles of your feet. Grab onto either end and just gently pull yourself forward. If you need a deeper stretch, lose the strap and just fold over your shins. Deep breath in. Deep exhale. One more, breathe in and breathe out. And then slowly coming back upright. Bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. Finding a little bit of a hip stretch here with our butterfly. <clears throat> Grab your ankles or your feet and you're gonna pull your heart forward, elbows to the inner thighs, reaching through the heart and the crown of the head. And then gently just soften the back of the neck, close your eyes, hold over your feet. Slowly lift back up. Fold your knees together like a book. Slide your feet back out in front of you and just come down onto your back, hugging your knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Really compressing your low back against the floor. Nice big squeeze. And then an easy, easy transition into Shavasana. Taking whatever little movements you need before you get there. You need a twist or a little back bend. Take what you need and then settle into stillness, whatever that looks like for you. A pose of rest. No effort. Just breath. Allow any eyes to close. Allowing the body to be really heavy. And giving yourself permission to completely let go. Noticing the breath in and out through the nose. The natural rise and fall of the belly. Noticing any last little areas of tension, anywhere where you might still be holding on to something. And giving those areas permission to let go as well. Soften your face. Melt your shoulders down toward the floor. These physical postures are such a small part of what yoga really is. And they help us to unlock the other seven limbs of yoga for a deeper understanding of what it is we truly want, what we need, what we're capable of, who we are.
The postures are tools to access the deepest parts of ourselves that we might not otherwise want to investigate. Maybe we didn't even know that they were there. Notice how you feel. And let it be. Take a huge breath in through your nose, fill up your whole body. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Another deep breath in, fill up. Deep sigh out through the mouth. Reach your arms over your head, take a full body stretch. And then slowly make your way up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed as long as you can. Ending the practice just where we began, a nice, easy, comfortable seat. Rooting down through the bones of the hips, backing the spine, reaching through the crown of the head, drop your shoulders down your back, and then bring your hands to heart center in prayer, thumbs against the chest. Bow your chin towards your heart space, just acknowledging your power and your presence on the mat this morning. All of your effort and your sweat, the grace, the messiness, the flow, everything in between. And lift your thumbs to your forehead. Gently curl the corners of your mouth up towards your ears and a tiny little smile of gratitude. The light and love in me sees and honors that same light and love in you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Namaste.